Hi, I'm Christian. Welcome back to another On The Road video brought to you by AppliantVideo.com. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. Today we're working on a Maytag dryer. The customer's complaint is that the door keeps popping open uh, whenever the unit's in use. So uh, today we're going to be replacing the inner door and glass assembly. We've already tried replacing the door strike and the catch and that didn't work. So um, to begin this repair, we do have to open the door. The tools you would need to complete this repair are a number two Phillips screwdriver and a T25 screwdriver. Now that we have the door open, to remove the door assembly, we're going to remove the four T25 screws that secure the door hinge and the door. Just make sure you are holding the door as you get down to the last two screws. So once the last screw has been removed, you can go ahead and take a hold of the door and lift up. Be careful because the door is a little heavy. So now we'll go ahead and set it on a, uh, a workstation. And now that we have the door assembly on a suitable workstation that we don't have to worry about scratching, uh, we can now remove the number two Phillips screws around the perimeter of the actual door. Um, there's a bunch of, we'll say T20 screws. We don't have to remove the T20 screws, just the actual Phillips screws. So it doesn't matter where you start, just remove them all. So once all the Phillips screws have been removed, we can now separate the uh, outer door and glass assembly from the front of the door. So we're just gonna lift up. We'll remove the actual outer door first and then the glass. Now before we remove the glass, just make sure that we position the new glass in the same direction. You can see that it has a tab here or an arrow tab pointing in the down position. That's how we're gonna replace the other door. So just remember and take note where the, uh, the, the glass is uh, installed. Now that we have our new glass, let's install it. So we're gonna line up the glass and make sure that the arrow is pointing in the same direction. Now that the glass is in place, we can now place our outer door panel and line it up. Uh, take note that you may have to uh, move the actual glass around a little bit to line it up. So we're gonna line up all the screw holes and then we will re-secure the two panels with all the Phillips screws we removed earlier. Doesn't matter where you start. Uh, when I first start, I'm not gonna tighten the screws down all the way. Now, once all the screws are in, or most of them are in, I'll go around and uh, secure all the screws. It looks like most of them are in, so now, I'll go ahead and fasten the screws as I put them in all the way.
now that all the screws are fastened, we can now reinstall the actual door assembly onto the dryer. Now that we have our new door assembly, let's install it. So to begin the installation, the first thing we're gonna do is line up the door hinge with the slots. And then once it's lined up, slide it down. Now we can re-secure the door with the four T25 screws. I'm gonna do the top and the bottom. And then I'll do the two inners. Now we can shut the door and this will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality in-home repair video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.